Right then boys and girls, today I'm going to try and change my the runner on top of there for the cam chain and I'm also going to probably, maybe, have to reset that and if you can see it is get my finger in here yeah. that rusty part there the, the most rusted part, the brown part you can see there that is the cam chain tensioner there's two bolts for it and it is located just there but I struggled to find any information on it really so I started looking I recognised it but I'll take this lot off and uh, be back soon hello people um, now I'll just put that gasket I just want to show people um, well, I'll tell you that I'm following a video on YouTube with instructions to take all this off. A guy called Matty's Workshop. Um, he says about keeping all this gasket while you undo it. Good tip. And it goes, does go that way. I don't think you can really get it confused too much, but you know. That's the way it goes. Out of there. Back soon. Just another little tip I'll add of my own. The bolts that go all the rocker covering have like this sleeve that goes in there. I imagine it'd be quite easy to lose one or two of them. Luckily, I noticed that they were there and I was pulling them out as I went along. Keeping out for that though. Now then. Yeah, oh, there it is. Oh. <coughs> Clean that before I put it back on. Put that in a separate place. Right, let's have a look at this, see which one I've got. Oh, it looks like I've got the old style one. I think it's that lump there that indicates that it's the old style one. Looks like I've got it. Can't see any damage from here, but I'll take it off, have another look. And, uh, well, you'll find out very shortly, due to the magic of video editing. Beautiful. Right, guys, that's all supplied me the part um, through eBay. That. That's the part, new chain guide. That's the old one I sprayed down my brake cleaner. I can't see any obvious cracks or damage. Um, just a tiny bit of wear. It looks absolutely fine, to be honest, but apparently they fail, so I'm more than happy to replace them see the difference and it is actually I can just about tell slightly bigger that that way I don't know about width I would imagine not but yeah not much difference but it's supposed to be better it looks better I'm happy one thing I have noticed take it out of packaging that plastic bit if I can jam that in somewhere has a bit of bit of play on it Oh, damn it. It's hard to do with one hand, but see, it's got a bit of play in it. Doesn't feel like it's going to come off. I presume that's what it's supposed to be. So, we'll put that on again. Right. See my socket there, an extension, it's 12 millimeters on the bottom bolt of the timing chain tensioner and you can see the top bolt of it there I'm going to do that now and have a look yeah here we are guys I've just pulled it out I haven't let go of it yet and I'm, I'll probably have to reference this video when I put it back in but that is the way it goes that is the way mine goes it has that little peg facing towards the bulkhead or facing away from me or furthest away from me whatever you want to put it I'll spin it now yep there's the teeth I've seen the video on how to reset this so I'm gonna have a go and I will if I can find a way to prop my phone up because I'm just filming this on my phone I'll try and film it but basically you've got to put some pressure on that to squish it in and then I believe there's a little hook there it clips over that peg there 
which goes away from me, as I've stated. Must not forget that. That's the hole it comes out of. Magic. We'll change that first, and then I'm going to put that in once I reset it. Change that first, then put that in after I reset it. Alright guys, back again with the help of my brother doing the camera. Just got an Irwin quick grip. And what you do, is you put your thumb against that bit there. And you can see, if you hold your thumb on that, it allows it to compress, squeeze it, and then drop that hook down onto it. And that's easy peasy, ratchet intentioner, ready to go back in. And what happens is, when the chain moves down, hits that, well it does hit that, and you know, it hits that little hook there, and lets it tension the chain. Show you that again real quick. Like I said, I'm only seeing this on a video. I'm not sure how easy it was to do. You don't need a vice or anything. Only thing I would recommend is make sure that hook is ready to come down. Push your thumb against that bit there to hold it back. Otherwise, it'll stop it from ratcheting, uh, squeezing in. Give it a squeeze. Hold it down. Let the pressure off. And then we are hooked on, ready to be bolted back in. And like I say, the engine will release, the, the, the timing chain will hit that hook and release it to retention the chain. Thank you very much. People, I was going to just give the ignition key a quick flick to reset the tensioner that I just fitted. But I reckon I could turn it by hand with a 19mm socket, so let's have a go. Try this side. Oh yeah, that did it. I heard it click. So, use that one, not that one. Use that one. I, uh, I moved it. Only had to move it a tiny, tiny little bit, and it obviously hit that catch. And I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but I hear the tension of ratcheting. Um, I'm not sure what it is down here. Let's get my torch and have a look. Oh yeah, I can. See the barrel of the ratchet there. That shiny thing that comes in from the right and obviously presses against that that, uh, that holder. Beautiful, beautiful. Try and have a better look at that. Yep, that's it. Done. Seem to be anything down that side. Let me see now for all, but I think what I did notice. It's a tiny little bit of damage. Just in the middle of the picture now. Tiny, tiny bit of like something's been in there. So maybe that snapped off before. But I mean, this thing runs like an absolute dream. It drives superb. Engine's brilliant. But yeah. If you can, I can put this torch somewhere. Yeah, that's over. Yeah, with my finger. Yeah, that shiny thing running across there. I believe that's the tensioner. And it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's touching eyes. Beautiful. It was a little bit tricky to get back in there. Um. I managed to get it lined up in the hole, gave it a bit of a shove and it went all the way in and then I just hand tightened the bolts um, as far as I go and just nipped it up. Um, but the, the part I showed you where I was compressing it and hooking it over, that was like the third time I did it, you know, for the benefit of a video. The first time I did it was a lot stiffer because it had oil inside it and it was squishing the oil out. Um, but like I said, the second and third time I did it was a lot easier because all the oil had been pushed out. I don't know how hard that's supposed to be. Uh, if anyone knows and that looked easy, looked like it was easy to compress, let me know um, in the comments if you would. I think I'm going to buy another one anyway, refit it because it would, it's just so easy to do. So, there, there we have it. And like I said, that is the position of it there. 
not too awkward to get to at all. Brilliant. All done. Just need to put the plastic cover on with the insulation, the soundproofing in. It's got like soundproofing in it. All, all you can see there is what I spilled when I serviced it. Like an idiot. I think I'm going to get another rocker cover gasket just to be safe. And probably another tensioner, but there we have it. Burning like a kitten. Um, I hope you managed to gleam some information out of this. The main reason that it was just to show the, uh, you know, obviously the tensioner, where it was and how to do it. Um, if it else, someone brilliant. Goodbye.